Hello, today we're going to build this phone holder. Welcome back to EE for Everyone. We're going to do something a little different today, showcasing the power of 3D printing. When I bought my 3D printer, I made a promise to myself. I said, EE for Everyone, this printer is expensive, really expensive. However, every time you make something with it that you would have otherwise purchased, that's like making the machine a little cheaper. Ever since then, I've been printing odds and ends around the home that I would have otherwise purchased. This is one of those things. The bike holder, or the bike phone holder, works with an internal spring that allows the two main pieces to slide together. To insert the phone, one must first pull out the arm, drop the phone in, and then release the arm, and that'll hold the phone in place. There's a groove inside this plastic piece here that allows the spring to move to allow this arm to move up and down. There are a couple hooks printed into the two plastic pieces that the spring hooks onto, and that's how this whole mechanism works. There's a couple other pieces that allow this to be attached to the bike as well. Primarily, this U-bolt with little slots for the nuts to fall into, and a five millimeter spacer that has the same curvature as these other parts. This five millimeter spacer holds the back of the phone holder far enough off the frame to avoid any protrusions of it. So to put this all together, you take your spacer, put that onto the phone holder, and then slot the U-bolt into a couple slots in the bottom of this phone holder. Then you can tighten up the bolts through some holes in the front with a screwdriver. And that's how it mounts to the frame. Once the bolts are tightened, it all holds together with friction. So I took these parts, had the idea, modeled it in the Fusion 360, and then printed them all out on my CR10. The process took a little while, a few hours, but once it was complete, I think the parts came out pretty well. After the parts were done printing, I assembled them and took them out for a ride on my bike and it worked well. I need to tweak the spacing of the phone holder so it doesn't interfere with the protrusion on the frame. Didn't quite get it far enough away and I ran out of bolt so I couldn't push it out any further. And the bolts loosened up after a few miles of bumpy riding, so I need to figure out a way to keep that more secure. We'll get it worked out. For those who might not know what 3D printing is, essentially the machine squirts out a thin bead of plastic and then moves around as the plastic comes out of the nozzle. As the nozzle moves around thanks to the motors and belts, each layer of molten plastic sticks to the previous layer until a larger model is created. That's where the specific texture that is seen on 3D printed parts comes from, all of the layers stacking on top of one another. Let a machine like this run for a few hours with the right instructions, and you can have something truly amazing. 3D printing is one of those things that amazes me. I spend a few hours on modeling something in CAD, put the instructions on the printer, let it run for a few hours, and now I have a physical thing to hold in my hand and attach to my bike. There are no words to describe how amazing this technology is. Take an idea, a few hours of your time, and end up with a physical object in your hand. Incredible. I've really come to love making dovetails on the 3D printer. They print well, and once you get the tolerances dialed in, 
it has a really satisfying feel. In this case, I used two dovetails instead of one for no particular reason, and these dovetails is what holds the top and bottom pieces of the phone holder together. I suppose I could use some Loctite or other adhesive to keep the bolts more tight, but I don't really like this approach. I'd rather change the orientation of the bolt to make it less susceptible to the vibrational forces, or add the ability to use a jam nut to secure the position more permanently. Either way, with a few tweaks to the design, I think it will serve me well. A link to an archive with these preliminary STL files is attached in the description. If I ever get around to making the modifications to make it work better, I'll put that in the description too. If you think that 3D printing is cool and this video is great, let me know by hitting the like button on this video, subscribing to the channel, and leaving a comment letting us know what you enjoyed. Most of all, I hope that you learned something great today, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!